Hello, lads and lasses. Hey, if you like today's lesson, then please sacrifice three goats to Zortan, the art god, as this would really help spread the good word about my class. Hey, everybody. Today, we're continuing to work on our funky faces. All right, I've got my painting here. We have finished the background. We finished the eyes. Uh, and so now we're going to actually start to paint the face. Um, so for the rest of the shapes, All right, the eyes, uh, uh, all right, so for the eyes, the, the eyelids, the brows, and the uh, peritorbital orbital puffiness, that's the area under the eye, all right? Uh, those are going to be a solid color. And I just happen to have blue. I was going to do a blue demo. So I'm going to do one of these as blue. So I'll get my brush wet. And let's do this. Do, 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 do. All right, get my brush wet. I'll need a paper towel. So the next easiest thing to do is to work on the eyes. Uh, these are all just solid colors and I have made, so I have a, a couple of blue areas, a light blue, a red, all right? And this like blue, light blue green. And so that's what I want you guys to do is, is uh, the next step is to do the uh, areas around the eyes, the eyebrows. And this thing is called the peri periorbital puffiness. That's the area under the eye. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to do a couple of blues, but you can choose your own colors. You know, I just kind of happen. Now on this guy, he doesn't have any eyebrows. And... I get the extra water off my brush, all right? And so I have a damp brush, not a wet brush or a dry brush. And I'm just going to do a simple blue right here. Just stay inside the lines. Be as nice and neat as you possibly can. I'm using a small brush to keep things nice and neat. All right, and we'll do one that's just over here. I don't have the two blues right next to each other. And I'm just going to pour just a little bit of red. Look how much red I poured. It's like nothing, right? Because I'm only going to paint a small, tiny little area of red.
All right, I'm going to make a light blue, so I'll put some white right here. I only need a little bit. Dry off my brush. Add a little bit of blue to that. And I'm going to add light blue right here. All right, later on, I will make a, uh, a different color to go on these others. I am going to make a, I'm going to start painting the other parts of the face. So on the rest of the shapes, all right, we're, I'm going to count the rest of the shapes on the face. Half will be monochromatic made from medium color to light value, the same color. And the other half will be a primary color to the next secondary color. All right, so what that means is half will be monochromatic fade from medium color to the light value, the same color. That is this one that is, it goes from a light red to red, a light blue to blue, a light purple to purple a light orange to orange, a light green to green. Now with yellow, because when you add black to yellow, um, where it makes kind of like a, uh, like a, a olive green, we're going to keep it in the yellow. So it can go from yellow to Brown, uh, orange can go from orange to Brown, um, with blue to, uh, that's a different one, right? Uh, if you want to do an intermediate color, you can do blue purple to uh, light blue purple to blue purple, light red purple to purple, light blue green to green. And so that's half of them. So let's go ahead and start with that. All right. So I'm going to count up my shapes. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. 19 shapes. So we'll just round it up to 20. So 10 of these shapes are going to be monochromatic, and 10 will be from one color to another color. So let's start with a monochromatic blue so I'm going to do the neck on here. So it's going to go from blue. How about because this is dark red, we'll go from a light blue to a blue. All right. So I'm going to need to make more light blue. All right. Get the water off my brush. Get the extra water off my brush. I'm going to add a bunch of white to this. And then I'm going to add some blue to it. I want a lighter blue than that. So I'm going to do something here. I'm just going to take the blue that's on my brush and mix it in with this white over here. There we go. That gives me a nice light blue. All right, so right here in the middle is where I'm going to do all my mixing. So I'm going to lay down the light blue right there.
I'm going to lay down blue right here. And before it dries, I've got to blend. All right, very quickly now, naked brush, no paint, no water on it, and I will blend between it. And that light blue dried just too quickly. I'm going to put a fresh coat of light blue on there. All right, naked brush, no paint, no water. Naked brush, no paint, no water. It's okay if I go over the mouth just a little bit. Try not to, though. All right, I'm going to put a fresh bunch of the light blue up here. Do a little bit of blending right here. I'll wash off my brush. No paint, no water, naked brush. Do a little bit of blending right here. All right, and I'm thinking one of these will be a blend. All right, so change of uh, instruction. Small shapes will stay mon uh, will stay solid. All right, there'll be no blending. So while I still have a light blue made, why don't I just paint one of these light blue? All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So that'd be five.
All right, I think I'm going to do green on that one. I added white, oh, sorry, I added white and green on this palette, and I'm going to mix a light green right there. All right, wash off the brush, get all the extra water off. I'm going to put about half of this white over here. Get a little bit of green over here. I want to make a light green. There we go. All right, so my transition is going to be in the middle of the shape. So this shape is going to go from light green to dark green, or to green, light green to green. And the transition is going to be in the middle here somewhere. So I want to work quickly. All right, I'll lay down my green, light green. I'm going to put green just below it. And just get just a little bit of this light green to have fresh and wet before I blend. I'm going to get my small brush, no water, no paint, a naked brush. And then I'm going to rub between the two colors. Up here, I'm going to add more of that light green. And then I'm going to blend. Down here, I'm going to add green. And then I'm going to blend. All right, turn my paper around so I can get into a corner.
All right, we've hit our 30 minute mark for today. So uh, we will continue this next time. I actually think I just have like a couple of minutes to go. Let me just give one of these a color. I'm thinking about making a rule that all these little small spaces that uh, it, it can, it, it's a solid color, but it cannot be straight out of the bottle. You have to mix it. So, it can, you know, like the green I just painted there, that would be wrong. You would have to paint light green on top of it. And I'll wait until uh, it's dry before I do that. All right. I'm going to uh, stop the filming for today and I'll see you guys next time. All right. That's it for today. And until next time, be a little art factory.